Moving on, the Kogi State Government is insisting on the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission apologizing for what it called the embarrassment it suffered when it was taken to court over a 20 billionaire bailout fund. That has come in after the EFCC told the court that it was no longer interested in pursuing the case. The Commissioner for Information, Honorable Kinsley Fowl, disclosed the government's position at the presentation of awards to senior journalists that participated in the GYB essay competition for Nigeria's political and crime editors in Lagos. Take a listen. Uh, I think both the court and the FCC, uh, they've, they've discovered uh, that what they were chasing was wrong and they have uh, come to their senses. They went back to court to say, uh, we are sorry, we are withdrawing this case and they have withdrawn the case. But that's not going to be the end of the, of, of the story. As a government, uh, we, uh, we are in custody of the commonwealth of our people, so we want to prove to them uh, that we are, not, um, we, are, we are not engaging in any form of financial malfeasance or corruption. So it, it is very important that we take it further. Uh, we have called on EFCC. We, ha we have no problem with EFCC. We have called on them to tender a public apology to the state uh, that what they reported earlier was very wrong. And now they have discovered that it is not even the money they were talking about did not belong to the state. And they have uh, asked the Sterling Bank to return the money that belongs to CBN to CBN. So what came to the state as bill out had been applied since 2017. So uh, it's, it's very unfortunate. We are expecting them to tender a public apology. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.